with the sheer number of text files, configuration files, and log files that exist within the Linux operating system, it's going to prove absolutely critical that you spend some time familiarizing yourself with the available text viewing and text string handling components within Linux. So we're going to take a look at some of the options such as programs and commands that are available for viewing text using the Linux operating system. We're also going to take a look at how to handle various text streams such as input and output for programs and text files from within Linux. We're also going to take a look at some of the available options for searching text files for specific values. So starting out, we can basically use one of three commands to view text files. We've got cat, more, and less. Now just a quick review of these three available commands. Cat is the most basic and also has the most limited functionality. Basically, cat is just going to push the text out to the screen. It's not going to allow you any additional formatting or maneuverability features at all. More is actually going to allow you to move down through the pages one page at a time. And finally, less is actually going to allow you to navigate up and down and possibly even search for values. So as you can see, moving forward from cat, more, and less, each individual command is going to offer a little bit more functionality. So cat's usage is very simple. We use the cat command, space, and then the file name, including the path if you're not already in the directory. So let's take a quick look at the cat command. So if I want to view the anaconda log, for example, I say cat and then the log file name, and it pushes everything out to the screen. Now if you noticed, it basically just threw everything out and ran all the way to the bottom of the file. So there's not a lot of options for navigation or functionality built into cat. Now in addition, we can look at the more command. Now the more command actually contains a little bit better navigation features. And the biggest feature about the more command is that it allows you to format the text file into individual pages. You can use the enter key to scroll line by line, or you can use the space key to move down one page at a time. The usage is also very simple. You simply type in more in the name of the file. So for example, using our same file, our anaconda configuration file, we say more file name, and if I press enter, I move down one line at a time. If I use the spacebar key, it allows me to jump down one line at a time, and then all the way to the bottom of the file, and then it exits. Moving forward, we also have our less command. Now one easy way to remember this is less is more. So less actually provides more functionality than more does. I know that's a little confusing, but you'll get used to it after a while. Now, less's functionality is very similar. Enter is going to go line by line. Space is going to go page by page. But we also have a couple of extra features, such as searching through the file for certain values, spitting the actual file into VI for editing, or actually moving back up a page at a time. So where more forces us to continue down, each page, we can actually go back up using a less command. So let's take a quick look at the usage of less. I'll simply type in less in the name of my file, and there's my output. Now using the spacebar key, I move down one page. The enter key allows one line at a time. But let's say I think I missed something and I want to go back. I can simply use the up arrow key to navigate back to the top of the file. And the down arrow key will also allow me to move line by line. So as you can see, there are many different options available to you for viewing and interacting with these text files that you will find so frequently in the Linux operating system.